A St. Louis man now navigating his life without his brother. John Christmas died at Crown Food Mart on Sunday afternoon. The man accused of shooting him is in custody tonight. But First Alert 4 investigates found Travell Warren was arrested for gun charges and could have been in jail already, but instead was given a GPS ankle monitor. Tonight, only our John Kipper is hearing from the victim's brother, who's giving us a new perspective, John, in this legal process. Yeah, that's right, Sam. Travell Warren now sits at the City Justice Center. And in fact, he could have been here last weekend as well. But instead, last Friday, he left a courtroom with simply a GPS ankle monitor. Two days after that, police say he shot and killed John Christmas at a gas station. We just all trying to work through it and, and just accept, you know, our new normal. Gerald Christmas, a longtime criminal attorney in St. Louis, has consoled families suffering loss before. Now he's on the other side after someone shot and killed his brother, John Christmas, at a North City gas station Sunday. My brother was uh, very enthusiastic, uh, always the life of the party. Police say Christmas was arguing with an employee at Crown Food Mart on North Kings Highway in North City. Eventually, Travell Warren saw Christmas had a gun and went for it. After a struggle, Warren shot Christmas. It's leading the calls to shut down the gas station. Gerald agrees. I want it closed. <laughs> I want it closed. There's also questions on whether Warren should have been on the streets at all. According to court records, he has served prison time for felonies in the past and was charged in April for two counts of illegal possession of a gun. Warren was released on bond and given a GPS monitor. Records show four reported bond violations stemming from the GPS monitor in May. He also missed a court date. And yet, May 31st, last Friday, Judge Catherine Durker released him on bond with a GPS ankle bracelet. The circuit attorney's office did not contest his release. Durker is the same judge who put Monty Henderson on house arrest with a GPS monitor. He's accused of speeding and killing a mother and daughter walking downtown in February. In the Christmas case, police say Warren killed the man just two days after a court dropped his warrant. He's now charged with second degree murder, among other felonies. I'll be second guessing myself you know, forever. But ultimately, yeah, I wish the judge would have kept him confined. Christmas says in his experience prosecuting and now as a criminal defense attorney, he's a huge proponent of shock incarceration, making defendants wait in jail as they go through the court system, at least for a few months. When you release individuals too quickly, um, they don't understand the serious nature of their crimes. Now, we did reach out to the circuit attorney's office to ask why they did not insist Warren be kept in jail. We were told that they were unavailable for a comment today, could have something for us tomorrow. They also said that the decision ultimately is up to the judge. Reporting live downtown, John Kipper, First Alert 4. John, thank you.